Okay guys, so now in part two of the tutorial series, we're going to be working on the rest of the effects, which are going to be the words in the middle, as well as the scan lines, and the gloss, and the glow. So, we'll go right back into it. So we're going to start off with the actual effects on the boxes. So what I like to do is, I like to combine the top box, which is where like your name is, and the uh, like, subscribe button and stuff, with the bottom box where the video is. So to do that we're gonna create the rulers again by clicking on our uh, box layer and then going to the sides and putting the rulers up and then going to the top and putting the ruler down. So then pick your marquee tool and make sure you have your color set to the module color and then we're gonna just drag over that top box into the second box. And this step is really easy you just go to the paint bucket and you just fill in the blank spot. All right, now we can just remove the rulers again so we can see better. And then go right into your layer styles. So for this, we're gonna be needing inner shadow, angle at 90 degrees with global light checked, distance of two, size of seven, opacity at 60, and then go to the inner glow color to black, blend mode, normal, opacity 50, size 10. So that's already looking really good. Now we're going to go down to our pattern and we're going to put in a scan line. Now if you don't have the scan lines, you can look at my tutorial on how to create those. They're really easy to create, only takes a minute or two. So we're going to put those on put the opacity on those to 50%. Those look really awesome. And then you can just adjust your inner glow and your uh, inner shadow to uh, the opacity that looks the best. So I'm just gonna adjust a little bit. You can do it to your liking. And then we're gonna move on to the next part, which is the drop shadow. Now the drop shadow creates kind of like a metal type effect to it. So we're gonna change the color to white and the blend mode to overlay. And then the size, uh, actually we're going to do an outer glow instead and it'll be a lot easier that way. And then make sure it's on overlay, size of 7. And then the opacity, bring it all the way down to around 20%. You might want it even a little bit lighter, more like 15. And that just gives it a nice little glow on the side. It's going to be hard to see unless you put this up to 720p. but you'll be able to see it while you're creating it. So after that, that's all for the actual effects on it. Now we're going to be creating the gloss. The gloss isn't that hard. We're just going to make a new layer on top. Modules. Create a clipping mask. Right click. Select, select create a clipping mask. And then have your color at white. Go to your pen tool. Now we're going to start down here at these boxes. So click in about the center of the profile box. And then on the right side over here, click about an inch down from that. And then we're just going to curve it to look just about like that. Then while you're holding down Alt and Shift, actually just Alt, you're going to click on that. Then hold down Shift, click above, hold down Shift, click across to the left, and then hold Shift again, and click on the last point. Now we're going to right click on that, click make selection, feather radius zero, new selection, then go to the gradient tool, make sure you have it set on linear, make sure it's on foreground to transparent, and then click a little bit below, hold it down with shift, and then drag up to the top. That looks perfect. Then. We're just going to bring the opacity down. I'd say you're probably going to run it around like 15, 10%. Yeah, I'm going to say 10. So that looks really good. We're just going to duplicate that. Control J. Make sure it's a clipping mask. Hold down Shift. Drag it down. Awesome. Now, when you're dragging it down, you have to make sure that you delete the right side so just go to your marquee tool 
and just highlight over that right side. Awesome. Now we're going to duplicate the top one again. Control J, create clipping mask, same thing. Then hold down shift and drag it up to the top. And that looks awesome. So after you have that done, you're going to want to create the glow. Now the glow is really easy also. Just create another layer under those clipping masks. Make sure it's set to clipping mask. Go to your brush, have it on a thousand. Make sure you have the opacity back to 100 and flow to 100. And make sure it's on white. And then we're just going to click about a little less than halfway up through the module. And it's going to create a glow like that. Now bring the opacity down to 20%. Now you see there is a little bit of gradient lines in here. Now the really easy way to get rid of those is just go up to filter, noise, add noise. And we're going to create the amount to 2 and then make sure you have Gaussian and monochromatic checked click OK and that really does help to create those gradient bands so get rid of those now we're just going to duplicate that layer again create clipping mask drag it down to here now when you drag it down it usually makes it look a little bit brighter so I would say bring the opacity down to 10 and then that looks the same. Now if you need to add more noise onto that to get rid of more of those lines, just do that. I'm going to do that. Helps a lot. Might even add some more. Okay, that looks perfect. Now when you're using that add noise, you're just going to want to look really closely to see if you're getting any specks in the gloss here, but it should be all set. So after that's done, we're just going to move on to creating our text. So go to your text tool. Make sure the size is at 18. I like to use Agent CFB as my text. I use that for a lot. You can download that on defont.com. I'll put that link in the description also. Create a new layer. Put text down. I'm just going to put tutorials because we're doing this tutorial background. And then make sure you have it centered up. Let's use the arrow, center that thing up. Then go to the layer styles. Go to gradient overlay. Opacity to 75. And then we're going to go into the gradient drag the right bar down to 70 then we're going to create another bar on the right and just put a light gray that's going to give it a nice little metal effect and that's all we're going to do for the layer styles on that now all we're going to do is duplicate it with control J hold shift to drag it over just bring the size down to 14 and then you're just going to want to put in the links that you want so I like to put um, Facebook link, Twitter link, Skype, PayPal, all the stuff like that. And to do these, you just make sure you have it centered. And then you're just going to duplicate the layer, drag it over. And you can just create whatever you want in there. You can have your website, whatever you have, just put those in there. I'm just going to put these two just because for time purposes. I'll just duplicate them so you can see what it looks like on the other side duplicate these alright we'll just drag these over okay now as you can see on this original we have these little white lines that divide them now those are really easy to make also make sure you got 100% zoom so we can see what we're doing here make a new layer on top of those go to your line tool and then make a line to the center of that module section just like that really small rasterize the layer right click rasterize then zoom in to 500% so we can see really close on the pixels. And then go over to where your line is, right there. Go to your eraser tool, bring it down to 50 pixels. Make sure the flow is at 50 again. And then we're just going to erase the top so that it's to the gray. And then erase the bottom, same way. Looks perfect. We'll zoom out to 100 to see what it looks like. That looks perfect. We're just going to leave it at 100% opacity. Then you just want to duplicate those, drag those over. Really easy. Makes it look really good. Nice little touch to it. Okay, that looks perfect. Now, the last thing we have to do before this is all set go to the top of your layers. Make sure it's all the way on the top. Create a new layer. Make sure your brush is your color palette is all the way to black solid black then go to your gradient 
Make sure you have the linear, foreground transparent, perfect. Go to the bottom. And then we're just going to hold shift, drag a gradient up just to about there. And that creates a black gradient. Now you can see that the lines are there again. To get rid of that, really simple, just go to filter, add that noise that we did before, and it's all set. So, looks just like what we have here. Looks really nice. I hope you guys like this tutorial series. Only two part one. If you have another type of style that you want me to do, just send me a message, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. I'm anxious to see some of this type of stuff on your channel. So thanks for watching. Please like the video. Please share it. And um, subscribe to my channel if you like this. So thanks for watching. See you all later.